they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots in the frown. Can't hop out, then we clear Kick on the door, make him get on the floor. We up on the score, but we giving him more. Like he got it, go. Like so many dollars. All right, what's up, y'all? We in a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we have a special guest. Crowd, is that duty loan nigga? You right? <clears throat> All right, how you feeling? Chilling. How's life? I mean, sturdy. Shit coming together right now. All right. Okay, shit coming together. Okay, so we're gonna play a quick game. I'm gonna ask you a question. Just answer first thing that comes to mind. All right. Describe Sugar Hill in one word. Great. Celebrity crush? I don't have one. One sentence for your ex? I think I miss you. I think it's hilarious. Last song you listened to? Huh? Last song you listened to? Uh, Long Live King Die. Okay. Which rapper would you not let date your daughter if you have one? No, nah, nigga. What? <laughs> uh it's quiet. Favorite one hit wonder? Hmm. Probably. I think his name was like Valentine's son. And he made some song. Damn. I don't, nah, I don't think that nigga name was Val. Oh, YK Oris, Valentine. That was the song name. YK Osiris. YK O. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is my favorite shit. Hello. You want me on the, you want, not you, like you want me, okay. then nah, tell him, get me on that track, you are. Wow, okay. Gangsta. I'm about to sample that. Okay, sample that, alright, that'll be fire. Alright, worst song ever? Worst song ever? Yeah. in general, all of them. For me, my mom told me, if you don't got nothing nice to say, don't say it. That was nice. Okay, if you could bring back three people from the dead, who would it be? My son, Dot. My son died. Nah, I got more than three people. I don't for me. Well, okay. What's your sign? Taurus. Spend a day with Ari or spend a day with Jada? Damn. Ari or Jada? Probably, probably Jada. Because for me, she be having relationship problems. I feel like Ari loyal to a man, so. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm weak. Okay, and what's your dream car? Dream car? I don't got one. Okay. Artists that need to be free from jail? My son, Keem. Okay. All the guys, you heard? Kwan, all the guys. Everybody, anybody rapping for me that I jack, free him. Okay. Favorite app? Favorite app? Yeah. Probably the Gram. Okay. Mo, who's the most underrated artist? Un most underrated artist? Yeah. Damn, right now. Mm -hmm. Most underrated artist. Probably my son, my son Chino, gangsta niggas don't know about my son Chino. Chino? Yeah, my son yeah, Chino. I don't know who that is. And my son Benzo. Okay. Um, last thing you bought? Huh? Last thing you bought? Uh, some grabber. Okay. Um, locked in the studio, one person. Who would it be? Probably my brother. Listen to one song for the rest of your life. What would it be? Damn, one song, that's crazy. One song is crazy, but yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. And the best song you made? Best song I made? Mm -hmm. Some new shit, y'all ain't hear it yet. Okay, I'm released? I'm released. What's it called? What's it called? About the ladies. It's called what? It's about the ladies. Okay, song name, title yet? Um, Not one yet? Is this for the Ghetto EP? Love, Ghetto Love, that's okay. the name. Is this on the EP that we're still waiting for? I'm not dry. For me, EP EP coming soon. For me, I'm, I'm on some other shit right been now. Been saying that for like a month now. Nah, yeah. For me, that's why I took it <laughs> off my page because I ain't, I'm on yeah, some but other you shit said right the now. Yeah, interview too. He was like, "You want to do an EP?" Yeah, because that's when I was going to do it. But for me, things happen, man. Times change. Okay. All right. I'm sorry for all the people that was waiting on it though. Or, yes, don't false promote. Don't false promote. But now, nah, um, so how old are you? <laughs> Do you want to say your age? You don't have to if you want to. Nah. Okay. So, um, for the people that don't know, where are you from? Sugar Hill, Harlem. Okay. And um, what was it like growing up over there? Me. Yeah. It's valid. It's, for me, just chilling at first, niggas was just playing bullshit like that. Then, like I said, times change. Mm-hmm. And then, like, would you say, like, the... 
the street stuff kind of found you or you feel like you would have went that way anyway or no nah, i don't think it found me it was just like for me once COVID happened and uh -huh. shit like that y'all got bored yeah <laughs> niggas just got bored okay coming outside never going home okay and i just can't became consistent okay but you feel like if COVID wouldn't happen you think you would have went a different direction uh Maybe? i don't know probably yeah Maybe. Well, was um you finished school? Or you nah, still going to school? Nah, I'm about to finish. About that. to finish school. Okay, so um, so, but you are you're finishing now. You doing like online classes? Yeah, about to start that. Okay, all right. So you are for sure finishing school. Cause I know people be trying to like stop going to school. So when did the music start for real, for real, for you? Cause I heard you been doing music. Nah, I used to. Well, nah, I, mean. I used to, yeah, type shit. I used to go to the stew with my son D. My son D played for keeps. Mm -hmm. Gangs used to go to them, some stew downtown on 121st. For mm -hmm. me, just make tracks with him. And then after that, but like that was going on for like a couple months before my son, Na when my son Nadi died. Mm -hmm. And I, we made a tribute song for him. Ifa, and that was my first drop song. And then I never stopped. That was the first one that got a, a million views. Gangs. Mm hmm. Gang. So like so when you was going to the studio with the um which call it those songs never came out. Nah. You still got them. Yeah. You gonna drop some? Nah. Why you didn't drop? I, them? I'll probably redo it, redo them. Why you didn't drop them? You didn't feel like they was good. Nah, nah, not that they wasn't good. I just ain't find. I didn't find my sound yet. I was just just trying shit, you know. Okay. And um, so who would you say like inspired your sound though? Inspired my sound? Or inspired you to like, do music? music? Music, yeah. Mm. Inspired me to do music mm -hmm. for me. Uh, probably my brother type shit. Yeah, shit. Okay. And then, like, how did the drill music, I guess, start? Was everybody Dream. drilling at that time? Yeah, for me. I don't know. That's the life that I'm living. <laughs> for me. Just for me. Release your pain on the track. Do you have a um, favorite artist currently? Uh, favorite artist? Right now. Right now? Probably my favorite artist right now is between Lil Dirk or Dirk G Herbo Polo G. One of those three. Okay, one of those three. Why? Why is it there? Feel me? My son G Herbo, mm -hmm. he be just, he gangster. My son make pain. Like, if you, if you really... I ain't outside, and you know what he talking about, then that's why you going to jack it. My son, Dirk, Dirk, just, Dirk do everything from <laughs> Polo G be talking to. Yeah, Polo G is more lyrical, I feel like. Yeah, he, he yeah, yeah. or gangsta, my son be talking. But you did a song, you sampled 50 Cent. Yeah. Is 50 Cent, like, you you grew up listening to him? 50 Cent? Yeah. Nah, I, I my favorite movie when I was growing up for a point in time was Get Rich or Die Trying. I was okay. jacking that. Okay, so that's what made you sample that? Nah, not really, but the B was pain. Also, I was going to do some, for me, some tape shit, but. Mm -hmm. yeah. So music is more therapeutic for you, for real, for real? Uh, like, they make me relax, that's what you're asking me? Like, it's therapeutic. It's how you get through your moods. Yeah, your facts. And stuff. Yeah, gangster. So, like, um, so, like, when you're going through something, do you try to go, through, do you write? Or do you freestyle in the studio? All right, if I'm, if I hear a beat, like, if I hear a beat, and I'm not in the studio. Mm -hmm. I probably like write like a verse or like a hook, and then I f mostly though freestyle to be honest. And then um, so the first song you freestyled. What E for N? Yeah. Yeah, facts. Freestyle that. Okay, so walk us through that like that song, that stool session. It was um, it was on the day of my son Nadi funeral, and Didi and Didi and J Star was gonna shoot that shoot the video to that song, but it was mm -hmm. mad open space on the song. Mm -hmm. So we all went to the studio for a second. Then Didi and Jay Star put their second verses on it. And then and then they told my son Dot to hop on. And then after my son Dot hopped on, then I was going to hop on after Dot, but then my son Dida came in, mm -hmm. you know, for me, I let him go on. Then I went. And we shot the video that same day, though. So y'all did all at the same day, recorded the song, shot the video. Funeral, all of that. Damn, and y'all did that. Um, I know y'all shot a video at Eda Repass, too. Yeah, facts. Right. So, like, is that, like, a thing? Like, y'all just got to, like, get it out while y'all in the moment? Or what do you think? Me? 
both of the, both of the bros right there. Passion was music, so I mean, just right, something that'll make them happy, I guess. So um, so how would you how you met Ida? Y'all grew up from the back of yeah, just grew up for me, same neighborhood type shit. And what would you say some of y'all best memories? Or what's the memory you remember with y'all? I remember my memories were, but for me, my son died. Used to like, like games and shit. So, you know, my oh, son, yeah. my son, just you're a good person, bro. Genuine mm-hmm. nigga, you're. But my son really put niggas on the map. Yeah. So how um how was it when you heard the news? Where was you? Gangsta so views at a show, on oh, bro. My son D got the phone call, and, or, and they all left to check. Yeah. Fam and stuff. Okay. So, um, right now, I guess people have been clearing up that it wasn't a suicide. No, I don't really want to talk about that shit. Okay. In the interview, I seen that you said Joel's was your uncle. Joel's was your uncle. Yeah, facts. I seen in a previous interview, and P interview, shout out to P, that you say he was recording at Joel's house. Yeah. So, facts. so, yeah, so was he into the music? What, my music? Yeah. Yeah, of course. My son jacked that. Cause I see he just shouted y'all out on No Jumper. Yeah, my son Jack us. Yeah. Instant. Smart. So, um, so y'all gonna cook up soon? Oh, me and Uncle, Uncle Juju? Yeah. Yeah, po- yeah, probably gangster. Probably? Yeah. Probably real soon. Coming soon. That's lit. So, did Adam reach out to y'all after that interview? Adam? Adam 22. The guy that interviewed them. No, I don't, no I, I don't know, probably. I don't really be checking my message requests mm-hmm. or nothing. You got to check your messages, bro. Gangsta. You don't know who was hitting you up. Nah, yeah, I was going through it a, uh, like like a couple days ago, and a lot of, for me, people like that was hitting my shit. Okay. All right. So so you don't need, so you don't know who's hitting you up. Anybody yeah. you want to shout out? Like, lit? Hit you up? I was like, y'all fuck with your shit? Yeah. A couple people for me. But or just shout out to whoever show love. Okay. All right. right. So shows, y'all been having shows and shows and shows. Yeah, we got a show on Saturday. PA. Okay. So you've been moving from PA to Boston. Went to PA, Boston, um, Connecticut, Brooklyn. We went a couple. We went a couple places. So how is how is the show the 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 girls be wilding, the kids be wilding, everybody be wilding. So how is that like performing? Seeing everybody turn up for y'all. That shit lit for me, but sometimes it get whack. For me, think Why about the whack? think about the bros the most and shit when oh. we be doing music shit. Mm. So you're not really. So is it hard to like enjoy everything with like you know with that yeah, stuff type shit sometimes? Uh, yeah, word. But what do you feel like is the best thing about performing though? Best thing. Yeah. Just seeing how much the people love you for me. How they ruin for you, shit like that. Singing a song with you, knowing the words, shit like that. Mm-hmm. So, what's your favorite song you like performing? Favorite song I like performing. I don't really got a favorite song I like performing, but song it went the probably like the most crazy song back to back. Okay. That's on Didi. Yeah, everybody's so. fucking with that song right now. So, um, so the people were sending in questions. The ladies want to know what's your relationship status. <laughs> Our relationship status. Are you single? Looking? You chilling? You focused? I got a yellow. Please don't judge it. So I gotta say, man, if you know, you know. Okay. Thanks, so what's what's your type? My type. Mm-hmm. Pain. Pain. That's just my type. Pain. It don't matter what's your skin. It don't matter if you got. If you got what's that shit called when your skin is different colors? I yeah, that. What's it called? I don't care if you got that, that, whatever the word she just said. I don't care if you got that. If you look good and your vibe is pain, and you, I'm jacking you. Vibe is pain. So that's it. That's y'all. That's y'all lingo. Pain. Okay. So pain can mean good thing. Pain is just good. Like for me, you pain. Okay. Okay, so other than like music, of course, what are some what what are some of your other goals like on your journey to success? Like aside from music, just put on like for me. I just want to die and be remembered forever. Well, for as long as I could, you heard. 
Yeah, I don't like that you said, I don't want to die. It's like, no. Nah, I'm just know. saying, like, when, I'm, of course I don't want, you know what I mean, though. No. I know, but, like, yeah, you, you, your journey is very much going up right now. So, um, what you gonna call it? So, you said you pushed back the EP? Yeah. Okay, so. I'm about to, I'm dropping tomorrow, though. Okay. Yeah, I'm. Dolly song? Yeah, Dolly song and the on the radar shit. Okay. Do you have a team? Oh, I might hold one for Saturday. You gonna hold one for Saturday? Okay, to perform at the show? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, do you have a team? A team? What you mean by that? Like, you yeah. do all the music stuff by Yeah, yourself? I got a team. Or you got a manager? Yeah. Are you signed? Chill, TP. Nah. Not yet? Not yet. You, you definitely want to get signed, though? It's, yeah, it could happen any day. Okay. Okay, anything now. So you kind of already know what you want. Yeah, already know what's coming, everything. Okay, <laughs> it's not giving me much to work with here. Like for me, I, I, for me, I, it's I, in the I, works. I, I just sat, I just sat down with a couple people. Of yeah, I need a label deal. We trying to go big, like me okay. and the bros, everybody label deal. We need, we need that bag okay. as our unit. But for me, it's so, gonna work out. It's gonna work out. Is it looking at a collaborative thing or a solo? Yeah, that that'd be good for me if me and the bros all get it at the same time. But for me, I don't have meetings about label with me and shit like that. Facts for sure. Okay. And you've been liking everything you've been hearing so far? Yeah. Everything's sturdy. Everything copacetic. Big okay. words, big words. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. So what, what what keeps you motivated? Motivated? Yeah. What keeps you going nowadays? Uh, probably the bros and like my mom's mm -hmm. shit like that. Just for me, I don't want to disappoint my mom. You know, for me, she she made sure I was good all my life. I just want to make sure she good for the rest of hers. So she's been supportive on your music career. Yeah, at first for me, you know, parents don't. The drill yeah, music, they yeah. for me they be scared, shit like that. But mm -hmm. you know, she gonna support whatever I do, you heard. Okay, and when you um when you get when you sign your deal and all that, do you plan on staying in New York or you want to leave? Shit, again, why I got tired of the city, got out of the city, ain't going back to the city, oh, bro. You know where you know where you would want to go? Nah. What state yet? Huh? You know, what state? Like you want to nah, stay? Nah, there? I don't know. Just somewhere, somewhere pain. A house in the hill with maids. You heard? Okay, so house in the hill. So maybe Cali. Yeah, maybe somewhere like that. Somewhere good where I could just, you know, go outside, <laughs> put my feet up, shit like that, look okay. at the sun. Okay, you went, you went to Cali already? Yeah. Okay. Any place you want to visit that you haven't yet? Um, Growing up as a kid, my mom fake took me everywhere. I ain't going to lie. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. So, um, so... Finishing school is definitely a priority. So what's up with the music? So are you feeling? The, are you over the whole sample wave right now? Samples. Yeah. Are you done like, with them? Are you tired of them? I fuck with samples, but I won't use samples of YouTube no more. Like okay. in order for me to do a sample, it mm -hmm. would be something that I sent to a producer to make for me or okay. something like that. You said you only gonna. So you have a specific producer you like? Uh, nah. I fuck with a couple of producers. I fuck with my son Scott though. Like, if I if we talking about like who I got the most songs with, is my son S Scott. Or okay, okay. Shout out my son Scott. Shout out all the producers, but where fuck my son Scott. Okay, so Scott. So how you met Scott? When he just always sent you packs when you was fucking with him? Nah, I met him through my son Kato. Okay, and he put you on. Yeah, facts. Okay, and so you say you're gonna only do specific samples. Yeah, I'm, I only do samples that I send to. Like mm -hmm. if I jack, if I hear an old school song or something that I jack like that, mm -hmm. then I will send it to him. Tell him sample it. I that sample. You ever heard Stomp the Yard? Yeah. And it be like at the end when they stepping like, uh, 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 hey, <laughs> yeah, I that sample that gangster. Okay, it's not out yet. No, I ain't do it yet. I just sampled it. I'm okay, gonna do so it. So he making he making it still. Yeah, and I'm gonna do All it. All right. I'm about to say you. So you have some. So you have some unreleased. That we waiting for. Gangsta. Right? I got some pain. What's why are you holding on to the music? I'm not holding on to it. I've fake been dropping it. like every week. Yeah, you have been dropping every week. Some collabs, a lot yeah. of dolies. Yeah. Are you are you trying to get out more doly records now? 
Because you see, like, your collabs is doing good, so you want to get some more out for yourself? Uh, nah, I, I don't really, like, think about shit like that. I just, I mean, I just be flowing, whatever. I do a track and want to drop it, that's what I'm going to do. If it's with somebody, without somebody, if it's mm -hmm. pain, I'm going to drop it. So you don't really have a strategy to your rollout right now? Nah, I just keep dropping. Consistency, that's my strategy right now. Okay. So you so you going to drop every week? Yeah. Continuously? Yeah, continuously. Going for that, yeah. If I miss a week, then I'm going to make up for it. For sure. Okay. And are you going to fuck with any Christmas samples or any Christmas Yeah, I was that thinking about that. <laughs> drop a sign on Christmas, you know. Okay. Drop a sign on New Year's and on Valentine's Day, of course. Okay. All right. So, um, so what's what's you and the, your friends like? What would you say like is y'all? Do y'all do something for the holidays? Everybody kind of just gonna chill with fam, cause y'all all, all kind of grew up together. Yeah, I chill with my family. Um, last year I spent New Year's with the with the bros, mm -hmm. but Christmas, you know, chill yeah, with my okay. family for real though. Okay. So what else are you working on? Um. Just. I don't, nothing really. I just feel me focus on music. But gangster, she gonna make me rich forever, oh, bro. Mm hmm And what's some of your plans? For me, change my family life. Like, you know, when people say that, it's really impossible to change every one of your family members' life. So, mm -hmm. you know, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make Try sure that the people that was there for me, I'm gonna be there for them for sure. Yeah, you could you could, you could only try your best. Like thing you you get busy stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Feel me? You gonna try your best. So people wanted people was also sending in questions about like where does O Y O G stand? I don't know if we're gonna get into that because I don't even really um, know what happened for real. I'm confused. Yeah, I don't really know. I, those are the bros. So everything's good, right? Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. So um. Yeah, because y'all video is about to hit a mill. Yeah, um, for my King son, Doc. I think Eda would be so proud. But um, tell the people where to find you, where to find your music. Duty Low, everywhere. You're D-U-D-E-Y-L-O, everywhere. Look me up on Google. I'm going to pop up your <laughs> everywhere. I was going to say, do people confuse you with um Lil Dirk artists, Duty Low? No, niggas, no, I'm not him. I'm saying... But I, 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 I <laughs> Well, niggas be thinking that I dead eyes like got that name from him, bro, and I that did, did No, it. yeah, yeah, we definitely know of you, for sure. Bro. Yeah, nah, I ain't, but or for me, spell maybe, it maybe, anyway. yeah, we spell it different. For me, maybe duty low and duty low okay. might happen on the track. You heard? Okay. Thanks, sir. I bet. My son Jack the O's, anyways. Yeah, I seen them, Bobby Smart. A lot of people been tuned in with y'all. Yeah, again, yeah, facts. Was you with them when they went to go see Drake? Nah, Miami, okay. nah, I wasn't with them. Alright, man. But yeah.